Hello, happy campers. Let's talk DJI Mini 3 Pro. Obviously, just before flight, you need to make sure that you take off your protector. You obviously put your drone down on a safe taking off position. You obviously then turn on the drone, turn on the remote control, and off you go flying safely. Make sure you have your home position done and you know everything else like that. Now I've done some flying around these hills here and I will report that it is easy to fly. It's very steady. I basically just turn the video recorder on at the very very start um, you know so I know that I've got it turned on and that I haven't forgotten to record and then you know you basically just use your controllers to <laughs> to fly around and and do your flying around things carefully obviously here there's nobody around i'm not going to go into the legalities of this i just want to do you know a super quick you know video on bringing the drone backpacking with you these are things that other videos may not cover every other video covers how you use it how you fly it although i have to say <laughs> like most things on youtube i was flying the phantom the original phantom what like eight or nine years ago before most of these other youtubers ever even heard of a drone and the phantom was like like this huge thing i literally strapped it to the outside of the backpack i think what i'm going to do in this video is show you how i carry it store it and how i look after it so basically when you're finished flying or before you set off from home you know obviously just very carefully put your Put your wings away so that everything is folded neatly, rubbery stuff, but I think it's probably a good idea to keep that gimbal from moving. So I secure the gimbal with that, and now the camera is fixed and it won't move. I then obviously just put the put the, the head on the on the front there just to protect the camera. Now look, if you want to, obviously you can store this inside, you know, a, a padded bag if you want to carry the weight and the extra lumpage, you know, associated with that. But realistically, when you're backpacking, the less that you have to carry, the better. Now, obviously, if you do what I do, and you break your drone inside your pack, it's your fault, not mine. I'm just saying, if you pack it carefully, you know, this is what you can do. So basically, get a stuff sack. This is an X-Ped fold dry bag. I think this is, this is an extra small, and there's nothing else in the pack. And then basically, the drone fits inside the pack so that it's flat inside the pack. So that's, the, that's its bottom. So if it was on my hand, it would be sitting like that. And then I take the controller and I simply just put the controller in next to it. So now controller and drone are flat together like that. You may even just want to fold it over once and then that way you've just got a little bit more flexibility in there when you put it in there. And water's not too likely to get in there. I mean, it's only rolled over once, but water's not too likely to get in there. And now you've got a little bit of flexibility, so you could put that literally on the top of your pack like that. So there's nothing really much else to go on top. Maybe a raincoat or something like that when you're backpacking and you need instant access to a rain jacket or or maybe some sandwiches could go on the top or something like that but i just pack it like that extra 
extra small stuff sack and then I take the battery pack and that literally goes inside the extra small stuff sack and of course this isn't particularly delicate so this you can you can roll that up nice and snug and then obviously that can just fit down in a nook or cranny somewhere near the top so if you do happen to stop when you're walking to fly your drone it's relatively easy to access so that's how I pack the you know the battery pack like that and then that could just go in the pack job's done now if you have a battery pack like this one this is a, an anchor power pack what you've not been able to do before well certainly not with the drones that I've had and that's just the Mavic and the Phantom the original Mavic I've not flown a drone for a while is you can now charge it up in the field so that's the battery pack in there in the drone you plug your USB-C cord in you turn the pack on if it doesn't automatically come on and then you can see that it's starting to put power into the drone's battery from the power pack you know in the middle of nowhere now another thing that you can do is you could take your power pack this is the I obviously bought this from Amazon as a separate accessory and you can plug it into that and again if it doesn't turn on which it is then you can see the power packs turned on so we've got two empty batteries in here so you can see that it's charging up this battery first And both batteries are empty. You can see when you press the power button here, it tells you how much battery power you have. So both are empty because I've used them both. And you can see that it's charging up the rear battery first. If you want to check the power of your flying battery, then obviously press it once and you can see that you have full power now the other thing that you can do you can do it the other way around you can take your power packs you can plug your usb cable into the out so we'll try it with a full battery pack that might work better 58 percent 58 minutes until full you can see that it's charging and that is using this full battery here. So, you know, obviously if you were out in the wilderness and for whatever reason, you know, you'd finished all your flying and you needed emergency power into your phone, then you could charge your phone, you could charge your, your mics up, either a road mic, or your DJI mic, which this, let's face it, the power pack's hardly likely to need charging up. It's still got four lights on it. You could even transfer power from one of these batteries over to your remote control if necessary. So you could charge your remote control up from here. So, you know, if at the end of the day, you, you know, you depleted your remote control, You'd used up two of your battery packs and you still had one battery left and you just wanted to have like an emergency flight. You can maybe transfer, you know, 25, 30% of the power from that over to this just to give yourself, you know, like a 10, 15 minute emergency flight at the end of, you know, the end of the day. So we can unplug that. We can plug that into there turn that on there so your DJI battery packs is now charging your remote control and you can do all of that in the wild now don't forget 
to put your, you still need to be registered. I don't think, I can't remember the exact details. Obviously I've got it correct, but I never remember this stuff. Um, but just remember you have to have the correct details. So I just write it on a small piece of paper, stick it to the back of the battery pack. And then obviously that then just goes inside the drone like that and your drone is now registered to fly and you haven't got anything stuck or written on the outside of your drone so i just put mine taped to the battery that's how you stay legal with that one registration so i hope that you have found this video you know informative useful helpful this is us, we're literally filming this from my tap in the middle of Wales. It's the mountains around. So if you're interested in hiking, camping and videos of that nature, be sure to pop back and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you found this, this basic tour, you know, helpful for you. Just how I pack the drone, how, I, how you can charge it, and how you can carry it in your backpack. Just be careful with my system. But if you're careful, you'll be perfectly well. Uh, oh, how me.